I'd like you to put yourself in a position in which you are utterly comfortable. You're calm, you're cozy, you're sleepy, and you're oblivious to the great fruit-sized parasite watching you from 10 feet away. You nod off to sleep, and this thing scuttles forward and crawls up your leg and gets to your neck and drives a two-inch needle into your skin and injects you with a boatload of DNA, which rearranges your internal organs and makes you into a little parasite factory. Many baby parasites are made inside of you, and you bloat, you swell, and eventually you pop, and they fly out of you, and you bleed out on the ground. <laughs> it's a horror story. It's unsettling. And yet this story happens around us thousands of times a minute. In this story, you represents a bacterial cell, and the grapefruit-sized parasite represents a bacterial virus. And that is what they do to their hosts. Now these are some bacterial viruses that come in all sizes and shapes. And the reason I'm so excited about them is because, as I'm sure many of you know, we all have a gut microbiome. Trillions of bacterial cells that are really important for our health living in our intestines. So are these little monsters living in our intestines too? Are they preying on our gut microbiome? Well, they're definitely there. There's billions of them in our intestines. In fact, all the viruses in the slide were found in healthy human poop samples. Okay. But it turns out that there's something special about the bacterial viruses living in our gut. They're different from the bacterial viruses you would find in a pond ecosystem, or in soil, or in sour milk. What I, and what many other researchers have found, is that bacterial viruses in the gut sometimes inject their hosts with genetic upgrades. So instead of killing the bacterial cell, they give it new abilities. The ability to digest foods it couldn't before, or to cover itself with protective armor. Protective armor, it's nuts. Okay. Um, so I'm at the beginning of my PhD, which means that I still have a lot left to do. But the next thing I'm going to do is to create a model gut microbiome in a jar, basically, and introduce viruses to it from different people's poop. And what we're expecting is that viruses from person A's poop will cause a different sort of splash on the community than viruses from person B's poop. And perhaps some of these viruses will even make the microbiome look more like the microbiome of the person they came from. If there's anything I'd like you to take away from this talk, it's that not all viruses are monsters. They are often mutualists, symbionts. There are billions of them in your bowels, and many of them only have good interests. Thank you. <laughs>